What's inside this greenhouse at the University of Missouri's Bradford Research Center may seem a little out of place. Thousands of saltwater shrimp are grown here. David Bruni, a professor of agricultural systems management in the MU College of Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources, is behind the research. Bruni says with his system, he can produce a fresh crop of shrimp in only four months. The MU research could make seafood a major cash crop for farmers. If I raise the equivalent of 25,000 pounds per acre of water and I can get $4 a pound, that's a $100,000 cash flow per acre of water every 120 days. That's not soybeans. The MU professor says the U.S. imports more than 1.2 billion pounds of shrimp a year from Asia. It's cheap to U.S. consumers, but the shrimp is grown in a way that's unsustainable, not environmentally friendly, and it's not fresh. One day soon, that practice has to stop. And when that practice stops, the only seafood that we're going to have is going to have to come from some kind of system like this. The MU Seafood Production System uses algae to control water quality. But controlling excess algae is crucial. Tiny brine shrimp eat the algae and then can be turned into a food source for the Pacific white shrimp. Other waste byproducts can be turned into a fuel source and be used as a fertilizer. We know that we can do this in an environmentally compatible way, in a way that is in fact zero discharge. But that doesn't mean anything to anyone unless we do it in a cost-effective manner. Bruni believes U.S. consumers will be willing to pay the extra dollar a pound for shrimp grown in a system like this. The shrimp that come out of here will be of a higher quality. They'll be a tastier shrimp, fresh market seafood that was locally grown. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.